Hello, and welcome to the My Wool Mitten podcast. My name is Carrie, and I'm coming to you from the middle of the mitten, Michigan's lower peninsula in the upper Midwest of the United States. I thought that for this first episode of 2023, it might be nice to look back on some milestones of 2022 for me in the farm before we get into the knitting and spinning. So the first one for me, the biggest one for me was the decision, and it was a, a long thought out decision to stay here on the farm. I had considered it the first of the year last year selling it, but in the end I decided to stay and I'm so glad that I did. And then when I made the decision to stay, I knew that I had to replace the barn roof here on the big barn at the farm and also at the cabin over on the other side of the property, the roundhouse. Well, when I decided to do that, it meant, it meant that I had to put on hold plans to buy a small tractor because I couldn't afford to do both. Following some of that consideration, I decided to go in a different direction with my flock of sheep. As much as I still love and believe in my beloved flock of Corridales, I just couldn't manage the size of those sheep as I get a little older and, and things get a little harder to do. So I went in a totally different direction and made the trip to Michigan's Upper Peninsula to get my starter flock of Shetland sheep. And I've been really, really happy with them so far. I made the trip on my own. I survived flooded roads on the way back, made a roundabout trip to get back here to the farm, and they've settled in nicely. I was adopted by a stray cat, B, who you see here on the podcast occasionally. And I adopted a little dog, Bailey, to help take care of the critters that are always present on the farm and to keep me company. So those were the milestones of last year for me. And I thank you for being here. I thank you for all of the interactions and I look forward to more. So let's come to the knitting portion of the podcast, or the non-knitting portion, however you want to look at it. Not knitting? <laughs> um, yeah, so I haven't had as much knitting time as I have had in the past, but I am sitting here in my podcasting corner, in my knitting corner, and I thought I'd talk about a few of the things that I'm doing, and if I look down, it's because I am knitting on something. Um, so let's start with a couple of finished items and one I'm wearing. I'm going to come up a little closer so that you can see it. This is my Guderian cowl by Marina Skew and Knits and this was uh, cast on as part of Marina's knit along. The out of the darkness make along is how she's calling it and it runs until the middle of March and I've participated before. And Marina is one of those uh, pattern writers, designers, whose style I really like and that I find in engaging and easy to follow. I've not knit a ton of her projects, but that um, it's gonna change this year. I've got one more I wanna make. I also wanna make a second one of these. But anyway, uh, this is what I cast on. And this was from some very deep stash hand spun. It was called Confetti on Ice, and it was something I spun a long time ago. Not a color that I usually wear, you know, all the brights, but I thought, what a what a good color to cast on and out of the darkness knit along pattern for. And then I got a new yellow turtleneck at the thrift store, and I thought they went really well together. So that was my first finished object of the year, cast on and finished it in just a matter of days. And the pattern is written, it's quite a bit bigger cowl, but I like cowls to be closer around my neck. And I didn't change the stitch count. I just used probably a less bulky yarn than Marina did in the original pattern. And I used a smaller needle. And it came out exactly the way I like it. Just exactly. When I knit my next one, which is a real similar gauge, I'll, I might go a couple of rows shorter. Um, so it's just not quite as high. 
And also, I did an I-cord cast-on and an I-cord bind-off. That's my favorite thing lately. I like the edge that it gives me. And if it's a situation where I can use that, that's what I do. So that's what this is. Objects were all accessories. Another one was a cowl that I made for my brother uh, by request. And that was a Christmas present and knocked that out in just a couple of days. That was already gifted to him. So I'll insert a picture somewhere, hopefully up here. And it was just a fisherman, fisherman's rib cowl and I made it out of our own farmyard. So like I said, cast on, finish this. And I want to cast on my second one of this with my own Shetland wool. This is from my used style and I carded it and I've spun it and I want a, I want a black cowl. And so that's gonna be the second one that I cast on. So I'm sure this isn't showing very well because it's black. But so that'll be a second one. Let me set my knitting down for a second. So again, the Gadarian cowl by Marina Skewa. And if you want to check out Marina's patterns, the knit along does go until the middle of March, like I said. And so there's still time um, to make some of the smaller items or a sweater if you're a fast knitter. The second cowl that I finished this year that I cast on right after, and this isn't gonna probably show very well either because it's, it's a mixture of browns and tweeds. Holding it in front of my face, hopefully it showed up. Um, and this was a pattern by Sam from Bumblebee Acres Farm. Um, I love my Bumblebee Acres family. And so this was some, um, I knew when I saw her with the pattern that I wanted to cast it on and, and make it. And again, this is old hand spun from a bat that I was gifted a long time ago and it was called kitchen sink bat or something like that. So it was some CVM wool, there's camel fibers in here, there's sparkle, there's dyed silk. And so it made kind of a nice tweedy yarn. And when I bought the pattern, I don't know why, but I thought it was, you know, a bandana type cowl just from the way it looked, uh, seeing the finished objects, but it isn't. It was a, just a very long length cowl but you might see that I did make it into a bandana type cowl for myself because I didn't want all that length bunched up, but I did want the length in the front. Love, love, love this. It fits cozily around my neck and uh, I, maybe I'll insert a picture of me wearing this with a jacket that I have that it matches really well. Well, I didn't use up all of my, all of this hand spun. I've got some left. so. That's what I'm working on right now is a pair of mittens to, to match this. But so a fun pattern with a couple of interesting details that Sam put in this. And so I would recommend this pattern. And I didn't say it's called the Winter Witch Cowl. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put it on the screen here too or down below. And so I really, really enjoyed this. And it was very fast knit. So thank you, Sam, for this pattern. I'm really happy with it. Again, I did an I-cord cast on. And then to make it into the bandana type cowl, I just cast off half of the stitches across the back of the neck and then continued working down and I just decreased to make it um, a little bit more of a, um, to narrow it down. And I think if I do that again, this again, which I would knit this pattern again, I maybe wouldn't cast off half of the stitches. I might do less to give it a little more down, you know, down through here. So another very happy project that I have finished. If, I, if there's something that I'll fall for, it's a good knit along. It may not always finish, but it's always exciting to start out a project with a group of people supporting a designer that you love or um, a a pattern that you think you might enjoy. And so I have to really resist not just casting all the things when it comes to knit alongs. But I knew I wanted to do Marina's knit along because like I said, I have done that in the past. And then the other one I was so delighted to find was Allie at Black Spruce Podcast. Is it Black Spruce? Yes, in Vermont. And she is doing her first ever knit along. Hi, Allie. And it is for the Knits About Winter book, which I've had for a long time. And it has ended up being kind of a coffee table book for me because I just love looking at all the designs in it. And now, isn't that a waste? I 
I love so many of the patterns in there that I've never settled down and cast on any one thing. And so when Allie announced her knit along, I decided I'm going to jump. And there's a sweater in there that I would like to knit, the barn sweater. Um, but I have this sweater to finish for my daughter, and so I'm going to hold off on that. But I had, again, some hand spun, some deep stash hand spun. And I thought, okay, I'm going to start with the mittens, um, the Skyfall mittens, and then the Skyfall hat was my thought. I'm going to hold this in front of my face and see if the colors show. I don't know if that's showing up or not. Again, this ended up being a nice tweedy colored yarn. And, um, but I've, as happens sometimes with the simplest patterns, I've cast on and started over three different times. And I'm just not happy with the, with the fiber that, or fabric that I'm getting or how, I don't know, I'm just not happy with it. So that's the mittens. I might just switch and try the hat. We'll see because I'm determined to knit something from out of that book, or maybe some of the DK weight socks. So that's all of the things that are finished or in progress. And I have a few more things that I'm going to be starting up with shortly. And I'll talk about those maybe next time. I also am going to talk to you about what's here in the background. So I told you I was going to talk to you about um, some upcoming plans. It's January and it's time for us to dust off our spinning wheels, I think. Uh, at least I need to dust mine off and get back to work on it. If you've been following me for a while, you'll remember that last year in January, I started a sock spin along. Humble Little Podcast and I started a sock spin along and we enjoyed that so much. There were so many of you participating and I appreciated that so much. And uh, that was before I lost access to my old account. And so I'm gonna start over again this year, 2023. And so if you're not already following me on Instagram at my Wilmington Farm, that's my new account. And I'll put the details down below. But anyway, back to that spin along and knit along. I was really on a mission to encourage you all to spin for socks. We all know that hand knit socks are fantastic, but hand spun, hand knit socks just put it to a whole new level. And so I had a goal last year of finishing six pairs of hand spun socks. I got two and a half done, but that's okay. Uh, I can start over again this year. And I thought maybe I would show you, we'll, we'll see how this is going to um, hold up. If you follow that, oh, and if you didn't, or even if you did, um, if you're new to the channel or if you followed along on that knit along last year, I did a series of short vlogs, um, starting with our spinning wheel maintenance and selecting fiber and resources we might have. Would it be helpful if I put those videos into a playlist so that you could easily find them if you wanted to refer back to them or if you're new and haven't watched them? I mean, you can go to my channel here, My Wool Mitten, you can go to my channel and look at the list of my videos and you can go back to January of last year. I'll even link the first episode and you could follow from there. But if it would help you to have that in a playlist, uh, let me know and I will try to put that together. I've never done one before, but I, I don't know. I think I can figure it out. But I'm going to hold these up. If it doesn't work real well, I'll put a picture in. Do any of you remember these beauties? This was the pair of socks that I, <laughs> excuse the funny look, there's a little foot form inside of there. But these are the socks that I spun and knit last year. The big, the big boot sock pair. My second pair that I did, and now these are going to have some chaff, you know, some hay and stuff, because I wear these a lot. And I'll just, this is a shorter pair, so... That was my second pair. Um, 
I wear them so much. Now we haven't had a terribly cold winter, so I haven't needed the big socks. These fit inside my boots so well, and they're so comfortable. And let me hold them up so you can kind of see the bottom. Look how well they've, they've worn. Now the only thing that has happened, I made bunny toes. I made a special yarn for this that has some Angora bunny. And you can see maybe that's the bunny kind of shutting out. But other than that, they've held up really well. These have gotten more wear because they're not quite, I, I mean, I just haven't needed to wear my boots to the barn. Um, but these can go inside my boot, you know, my low boots. So these have been worn a lot. But, and same thing, I did the same, I made the same yarn. You know, I combed and, and spun this. And that that's okay, that's just fluffing out and it will stop. Anyway, back on a tangent talking about that. I'm going to revive that, and I wonder if any of you want to join along. Whether you did last time, or whether you're new to my channel, or you're just seeing this and you'd like to start out, I'd love to have you participate with me this year. And so I have chosen my fiber. Uh, I, I had a couple that I sampled a little bit of, but this behind me is what I'm going to be spinning for my socks, of my first socks of 2023. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it better. This is local fiber, local to me fiber. This is alpaca and fin sheep wool. If you watched my sock spinning before, or you listened to me ramble on and on about spinning for socks, I don't use nylon, um, and I'm not a huge fan of mohair in socks. I like wool and alpaca blend. So about the same percentage of alpaca as you would have nylon. So 70-30, 80-20, somewhere in that area. And that's what this is. And then it's fin sheep wool. And so this is really spinning up into a pretty nice sample, which I don't have sitting here for some reason. Maybe I can put a picture in. But that's what I'm going to go for for my first pair of socks this year. And this, if you guys will remember, or if not, I'll talk to you about it. This was my little sample spin last year as I chose as I spun up some samples of roving that I had and then chose, did it, this was my swatch, and then I chose from here. So, and I'll, I'll link to the episode where we talked about that. So if you participated in this before, leave me a comment down below and remind me that you did. Um, or if you are, if you don't already, please go and follow my new account on Instagram, my wool mitten farm, and um, message me that you participated in that sock spin along before and we'll get started on that uh, again here real soon I, I we didn't do prizes or anything like that last year it wasn't that kind of a spin along but I do have a gift that I want to share with someone um, and I'll and I'll talk about that when I do the next video that will be dedicated to spinning for socks so please join in whatever kind of spinning wheel or spindle or um, e-spinner that you have. If you have not ever spun for socks before, soup, this is super relaxed. I have a very casual attitude about it. And no matter what kind of yarn you make, you can make some kind of sock or slipper sock. So why don't you join us? I'm looking forward to starting again. This is my birthday month. I don't have enough hand knit, hand spun, hand knit socks. And so I need to hold myself accountable and get back to that this year. So let me know if you're going to join in, okay? And um, I'll put a hashtag up here. I think we'll do maybe a new one from what we used last year. You know, like probably just add 23 to the end of it or something like that. So also tell me, have you spun and knit socks before? And do you have a favorite blend if you spin for socks? Tell me what that might be. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, let's make Sunday, January 22nd, the official kickoff for our Spin for Socks 2023. Um, in the meantime, like I said, I'll, I'll put a link to the first episode from last January when we started that Spinning for Socks ep uh, series, and you could go and follow along on that. Um, but until then, maybe get your fiber, get your wheel ready, and um, get your mindset to the place of spinning for hand spun sock, hand spun hand knit socks. So my birthday is January 24th. That's the closest um, weekend day that I thought we could kick off our spinning. So I hope you'll come back then. I may have a little prep video 
sometime between now and then, but January 22nd, 2023, that'll be our kickoff to another year of hand spun, hand knit socks. I'm really looking forward to you joining in. Thanks for being here, guys. Talk to you real soon. If you have any questions for me or any comments, please be sure to leave them down below. Or as I said, if you're on Instagram, follow me as my wool mitten farm. And uh, I, I'm not there all the time. Sometimes I'm not there for a couple of days, but I do try to check in. So I'll talk to you real soon. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.